Hello guys, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install Kali Linux in your Windows operating system by using VirtualBox. So Kali Linux is famous for in this cyber security and in this hacking purpose. So before I start this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for never miss any update. So let's start it. So before you install the Kali Linux in your Windows operating system, first you need to install VirtualBox in your Windows operating system with his extension pack. So if you don't know how to install VirtualBox and with his extension pack so don't worry about it check out the link in the description below i will show you the process how you can do that so once you install virtualbox with his extension pack so now you need to download the kali linux iso file so just you need to open your browser and search there kali linux and visit the first link which is appear here from kali org just click the link so once you click on it it will show you this kind of web page so if you don't know what is the requirement to install this kali linux in your device so what you need to do you need to go to the documentation and choose here the option which is kali linux documentation and go to here installation and here you need to click here the first link which say installing kali linux and here is the system requirement area and as you can see its system requirement is at least 2 gb ram and 20 gb hard disk space so if you have this requirement then you can install this operating system on your device so for download this kali linux you need to click here this option which is kali and click here the option which is download so for download this kali linux iso file we just need to choose here the option which is bare metal so now as you can see here is our kali linux iso file which is by default set on this 64 bit and the kali linux version is 2021.3 as you can see here this is the version so we just need to download here 64 bit version so for download this iso file we need to click here this card which they recommended as you can see so just click on this icon to download this iso file and as you can see it's show you the download page so this iso file size is around 4.6 gb now i start my download so once our download is complete it's download this file which name kali linux 2021.3 installer hyphen amd 64.iso and its size is 4.55 gb as you can see so once our iso file download complete now you are ready to install it so for install the kali linux in your virtual box you need to open your virtual box and choose here the option which is new just click on it and here you need to provide here your virtual machine name i just name it kali linux and its type is linux and version is debian 64 bit now click on the next and here you need to select here your memory size so it's need 2 gb memory to install for install this kali linux it's need 2 gb memory but my memory is 8 gb so i just give here 4 gb memory 4 gb memory means 4096 mb so once you set your memory size now just click on the next button and here in this area you need to select here your hard disk so just leave it as by default and just select on this create button now in this area you need to select here your hard disk file type 
you need to choose here the option which is virtual box dx image and click here the next button and then you need to select here your storage and physical hard disks here you can see two option which is dynamically allocate and uh, fix size if you want to learn about what is dynamically allocated and what is fixed size you can read from here so leave it in this dynamically allocated and click here the next button so here you need to select here your file location and file size here is our file location which is leave it as by default for install the kali linux it need 20 gb memory but i give here 40 gb for a smoothly running purpose so once you select here your hard disk file size then you need to select here create and as you can see it's create a virtual machine which name kali linux so now we need to change some settings to install this operating system so just select on the kali linux and click here setting so once you click on it it will show you the general settings here you need to go to the advanced and go to the shared clipboard and choose here the option which is bi-directional and drag and drop also select here bi-directional so bi-directional means it will allow you to copy and paste between host and virtual operating system and that means in my case i copy any content any text from my host operating system which is windows 10 to the virtual operating system which is my case is kali linux so that's why we are select here bi-directional so now you need to go to the system so here you need to in this motherboard section you need to go to the extended feature and you need to check mark this option which is enable efi and uh, go to the processor so here you need to in this processor section you need to give here your cpu size by default the processor set on this one cpu so for a smoothly running purpose you need to set here your cpu in this green signal so i just give here four cpu so then you need to go to the display so leave here all the setting as by default if you want something you can change here now you need to go to the storage and here you need to provide here your kali linux iso file path so just click on this empty and click here the cd icon then you need to go to the choose a dx file so then it's open your file explorer so what you need to do you just open your kali linux and copy the path from here and go back here and select here this field and remove the path and paste it here your kali linux iso file path and press enter here you can see this is our kali linux iso file so just select the iso file and choose here the option which is open here you can see this is our kali linux iso file so once your all the tax is done as like me now just click on this ok so now it's time to open our kali linux virtual machine so just select here again the kali linux and choose here the option which is start so once you start it it will show you a warning which is virtual box information you need to click here the capture option and continue so now it's show you some of option here as you can see here you need to choose here the option which is graphical install just press enter to continue so now it's show you to select here your language i just select here english and uh, choose here the option continue now here you need to select here your location i just select here united state and continue so here you need to configure your keyboard so that means which type of or which language keyboard do you use in your laptop or pc i just leave it in this american english and continue here so now it's take a time to load installer 
component from the installation media so wait until it's complete so once it complete it will show you to configure the network here you need to enter your host name of this system so this host name is a single word that identifies your system to this network you can give here whatever you can want i just give here my name and choose here the option which is continue then you need to provide here your domain name so if you don't know what is the domain name of your internet address or your host name so don't worry about it so just leave it as by default and choose here the option which is continue so then here you need to provide here your username and password and in this area you need to give here your username just right here you can give here whatever you can want i just give here my name and choose here the option which is continue now here you need to set here your username of your account i just leave it as by default on my name if you want you can change the username also so once you do that just continue and here you need to set here a password to unlock the kali linux operating system you can give here whatever you can want and also re-enter your password here to verify it so once you do that just choose here the option which is continue and uh, then you need to configure the clock you can just leave it as by default on this eastern and choose here the option which is continue so then here you need to choose here your partitioning method you need to choose here the first option which is use entire dicks and choose again continue then here you need to also the continue and in this partitioning schema you just leave it as by default and choose again continue and here you need to choose here the option which is finish partitioning and write change to dicks and again choose here the continue and in this area you need to choose here the yes option and choose here continue so now it's partitioning your dixes and install the base system in this area it's take a time to install so wait until the installation is complete so now here you need to choose here the software which is need to be installed in your Kali Linux operating system. You just select here this five software and choose here continue. So now as you can see it select your software and install it in your Kali Linux operating system. So it take much time to install it. So wait until the installation is complete. So once our software installation is complete, it will show you a message which is finish the installation. So now at this point you need to again press here continue to finish the installation. So once our finish the installation is complete, it will show you three options. From here you need to choose here the first one which is Kali GNU or Linux just select this and press enter to continue as you can see here it's open our kali linux this is the kali linux logo so now at this point you need to provide here your username and password which you give here when you install this kali linux just provide here this username and password I just provide here my and choose here the option which is login so as you can see this is the interface of our kali linux operating system and if you want to full skin this operating system you don't need to do anything here okay because it will automatically full skin your virtual box and your kali linux operating system so when you full skin here by clicking this icon as you can see here it will automatically full skin your kali linux and even when you click on this view and choose here the option which is full skin mode as you can see it is also again full skin your 
Kali Linux operating system and it will work smoothly as you can see here. If you want to see the version of this Kali Linux operating system, what you need to do, you need to open here command line from here and just write here this code which is cat space slash etc slash os hyphen release and press the enter as you can see here this is our version which we are download from this kali linux official website so now what you can do we just need to check here our copy and paste feature is work or not so just doing this you need to close here this command line and close the full screen mode from here go to the view and again choose here the full screen mode now i open my browser from my host operating system which is windows 10 and i open my browser and go to the youtube and search my channel name which is shajid habib as you can see here this is my channel now i copy the text from here and open my kali linux operating system and uh, go to the browser and here i just visit on this youtube and go to the search bar and paste my text as you can see it's work so now i am copy something from my kali linux operating system i just copy my channel url from here and uh, go back to my windows 10 browser and paste it here as you can see this is also work perfectly so that's all guys how you can install kali linux in your windows operating system by using virtual box i hopefully guys you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and share if you like this type of video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in this next video inshallah thank you so much